Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and I'd like to do a complete beginner's guide to Bellatro, shall we? Bellatro is a game that I actually haven't been playing very long because I just got it, and I'm not an expert in this game, but I've been playing it non-stop since I booted it up, and I completed my first run, and I thought, you know what, this game is so awesome, it's getting so much attention, let me walk through the very basics of the game that I've picked up so far to explain this game in such a way that if you're thinking about getting Bellatro, you're like, what's all the hype about? Should I play this game? How do I play this game? How does this game work? This is what we're going to do in the game. I'm not going to cover super far into the game. I'm not going to tell you how to min-max. I'm not going to show you like exactly the fastest path to progress in the game or spoil all of the unlocks for you. Instead, what I'm going to do is just explain the basics and the fundamentals so that you can enjoy Bellatro on your own. I don't even know the end game stuff. What I'm confident about is the beginning portion of the game so you can get a firm foothold on exactly what's going on and love this game like I am loving it. So I'm going to start a brand new account and we're going to create a brand new account so that you can play along with me and see what happens from the very first time you boot up the game and as you get into it and I will explain the UI, the controls, basic tips and tricks, the strategy, things I learned on stream from people who have been hooked like I am and gave me great advice, things I learned through my own trial and error and hopefully as you watch the guide, you'll see if this is a kind of game that you want to play. And if you did purchase the game, you will understand how to perform better at it, at least in the beginning phase of the game, until you really develop your own style and unlock more of the jokers and the content that it has. So let's go ahead and just click play. And um, all we can do right now is to start up a new run with the red deck. So... In this case, when you boot up, you're going to say, all right, I've never played before. Let's start it up. There's lots of different decks that you can unlock. And a way to think about this game is it's kind of like poker meets Slay the Spire. If you've ever played a deck building roguelike in the vein of Slay the Spire, it's, it's in that realm, but it is not like Slay the Spire in that you don't have an enemy you're really facing that you see the intents of that dynamically changes you just have a cash value that you're trying to make for your hand and you're trying to find the most zany poker combinations that you can except you're breaking the rules of poker it's good to understand poker but you don't really need to you can see the rules in the game and you're going to be breaking the rules so some of your poker instincts like mine anyway might lead you astray because you know the probability that you're used to in a standard 52 card deck uh, with the shown cards and all the information you have goes out the window as you change what gives value how many copies of each card and so on so we start with the red deck we start at white state best difficulty and we're just going to go play okay so um i have created a new account but I don't believe that what happens for me is that I get the built-in tutorial that you get the very first time that you have fired up the game. So I'm going to instead just fill in that information for you that's provided, and I'm going to add on to it because it's not all there. So when you boot it up, like you fire it up for the very first time, there, this account that I've made in Comp Tutorial has no unlocks hasn't even played before so it's completely clean like you will see except if you're playing for the first time there will be a joker card that kind of gives you information and walks you through things we don't have that because i've already seen that but i'm going to tell you everything you need to understand right now so this is the main screen where you see you're going to have to go through the small blind the big blind and then fight a boss so there's basically three waves it's like in sway the spire act one act two act three such and then what's going to happen is the ante will progress in this initial difficulty from one all the way up to eight. And so you'll go through three waves, or I'm sorry, eight waves of these three rounds. So you'll do this, you'll beat this boss, then you'll go to ante two, and you'll have to go through small blind, big blind, 
and boss to get to anti-3 and so on. If you clear anti-8, then you get a victory. You win. Um, and that's what you're trying to do right now. So how do we win? How do we do this? Well, for example, with the small blind, this chip that you see right here, it tells you you need to score at least 300 chips or 300 bucks to win. So how do you do that? You do that by playing poker. You're going to get a big poker hand, and you're going to try to make the best poker hands that you can. Straight, three of a kind, full house, four of a kind, flush, all of the different hands, even just a high card. But you're going to be able to make those hands more easily, and they're going to score more points, and you're going to be doing things like five of a kind and such because of the way you can manipulate the deck. Now, when we start over in the bottom right corner, there's a deck right here. You can just click View Deck, and you can see all the cards we have. And we begin the game with an unmodified 52-card poker deck. So you're like, okay, this is just a regular deck. This screen is extremely useful. You're going to be coming back here all the time to look at what cards are in your deck and how they've been upgraded and how many copies you have. So, for example, right now you see I have ace all the way down to two, starting from the top to the bottom, and I have four copies of each card in the deck, just like normal. And it tells you um, the basic cards I have. I have four aces, I have 12 face cards, I have... 36 numbered cards, and how many cards of each suit that you have. All of this information is important because the way that this game works is that you're going to get jokers that permanently modify certain combinations you can make. So they might trigger off of how many aces you have, or face cards, or numbered cards, or how many c cards of a suit. Moreover, you're going to get things that multiply on your cards itself, that activate either when they're played or in their hand, or you're going to get temporary consumable cards that you can use. You're going to get ways to level up the benefits you get from playing a pair or a high card or a flush or whatever. This will make sense as we see it, but this screen is super useful for seeing what you've got and helping you make decisions. So you can always click on this over here to get to that. Now, it is worth mentioning, um, if I push Escape and I go into Settings, you can change the game speed. So, if you've played for a bit, it might be too slow for you, you can speed it up. And you can switch the orientation of, do you want Play button on the left and Discard on the right? This is vital. I accidentally clicked Discard once because I was expecting the Play button to be on the right. Like, in many games... You know, end turn is over on the right, so you can switch this if you want. I'm actually keeping it at the default orientation, but that's your choice. You can also um, scale down the CRT effect that you see, the interlace, you know, how it makes it look like a old school monitor. You can change that if you're interested, if you don't like how that looks. Um, and you can also turn off the shaking of the screen when certain things happen if you want. So I'll just mention that. I'm going to go back. Now, Let's talk about what's going on here on the screen. What you see right here is your current round score in chips. We have zero, but we need to get 300 to beat this boss blind. Or, and, I'm sorry, small blind. The number that you need to beat, I like to think of it as the hit points that the enemy has. You just need to meet or exceed that and you win. And that's it. To do that, right now, we get to play four hands and we get to discard four times if we need to. We don't have to play four hands, and we don't have to discard at all if we don't want to, but we have that option. It's kind of like in, not in Hold'em, um, but it's like in, uh, you know, poker where you get a hand of five, and you can discard, you know, one, two, three, or whatever, and then you get a refresh of cards, but this game is more generous, and you have a bigger hand than a normal poker hand. You'll see that in a moment. We start with four dollars, which we can use to buy stuff at the shop, and you can always click Run Info, and this is another super useful screen. This tells you, number one, what you get for playing certain poker combinations and what level you're at. You start at level one for everything. This is a roguelike, there, um, but there are roguelite elements, just like in Sway to Spire. There's permanent unlocks, like you'll unlock new jokers, new decks, and things like that as you go. But... You start with the same deck, um, for the most part, the same 52 cards, 
and the same level on your poker hands when you begin a new run. Level one, it's clean, you have to build it up as you go. So for example, if I play a pair, okay, and if you mouse over it, it tells you a pair is just two cards that share the same rank, so like two nines, for example, and they can be played with up to three other unscored cards. Now we'll look at that in a moment, but that's very important because it lets you discard cards that you don't want. If you do play a pair, you get 10 chips, which is the blue number, and then you multiply that by the multiplier or mult by two. And that means like, you know, you get 10 times two, but you get to add the chip value of each card that you have and any other benefits that you have to arrive at your final value of how many chips you'll earn for the hand. Now, you could face this small blind and try to beat it at 300 chips, or you could click this button down here to get this tag, which means skip the blind. If you skip the blind, if you don't want to fight it, then you can just get this benefit, which means re-rolls at the next shop start at zero dollars. Rerolls are normally like five bucks, so this is not really that good in my opinion. You'll learn what to do, but in my opinion, when you first start out, um, just fight the blinds to get better at the game and don't skip them. That's at least what I would do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I know I've talked a lot and there's a lot to explain, but it'll make more sense when we actually see a hand in action. So let's click select right here. So we go from round zero to round one, and now we are fighting the small blind. So as I said before, this is not like many roguelike deck building games where you see the enemy and you have different targets and you know what they're gonna do and you have to plan accordingly. This is almost, and this was brought up by a viewer, almost like you're playing solitaire poker. Like you're playing against this value. Like you're playing golf. You know, you're just trying to get the best score possible. Um, and in this case, this is my hand. You'll notice right away, it's not like traditional poker because I have eight cards in my hand. All right, so it's certainly not like Hold'em and it's certainly not like five card draw um, because of how many cards I have. Moreover, I can discard five of these if I want and draw five new ones from my deck. So if I click on five of these and click the discard button, um, I could draw from the available options that are in my deck. You can mouse over your deck, by the way, and get a quick breakdown of what cards are remaining in your deck of each type. Very useful. You can also choose to play your hand by playing the best hand that you see. And you can do this in any order that you want. Like you can play your hand right now or you can discard right now. You could keep, you could use all four of your discards before you even play a hand if you want to really set up a great hand if you're interested in doing that. But let's just do a trial. If I click one, two, three queens, what the game is telling me on the left over here is I need to score 300. My reward is $3, three cash, $3 signs means $3 if I win. And, um, I'm playing three of a kind. So three of a kind right now is going to give me 30 chips times the mult or multiplier of three. But to this 30, I get to add, you see if I mouse over the queen of spades, it says queen of spades plus 10 chips. All face cards give you by default 10. So I'm going to get to add actually 10, 20, 30. So it's going to be 60 times three. So I'm going to get 180 just by playing that. Now, I could try to get a better hand if I want, or another option I could do is I, I could say, you know what, um, I have three cards to a straight right here, four, five, six. All I need to complete a straight would be, you know, connecting cards, two more cards in sequence, a two, a three, a seven, eight, um, a three, a seven, something like that. So I could say that's cool, and I could just play this jack. And I'm just going to show you as a demonstration. What this will do is the jack will not count. It will not give me its 10 chips because when you put cards out there, you can put five cards out at a time and it will play your best hand. The jack won't factor into this. It's not like it's, you know, three of a kind plus jack high. It doesn't work that way. It's just three of a kind. So I'll show you right here what happens. I'm going to play this hand. So it does it for you. And then it runs through the calculation. Plus 10, plus 10. And then it gives me 180. 
And then all four of those cards are discarded, and I draw four more. So at this point, what's happened is I've got a new hand here. Now, it is worth mentioning that generally you get bonuses for how fast you defeat the blind or the boss and if you can do it in less hands and less discards you get more bonuses um, and those can scale up depending on what you have so you know you want to win fast but you want to make sure that you win and all sorts of things are going to affect how we do this but for right now we have 180 we just need to get 120 or more and we win and it's over and we get the three bucks and we move on what do we need to do here? Well, we could play two aces. Aces give you 11 chips. And if we do this, we get a pair. So it'd be 10 times two. This game does have some light math in it, um, which, you know, it's not that hard. Um, you'll get a feel for it. But it is important to know we don't have any jokers up here. If we did, they'd be on the top. But things are calculated from left to right. And the sequence, the order of operations does matter. We'll talk about that as it comes into play. But for right now, we have nothing modifying this. So it's just very easy to calculate. We're going to get 22 plus 10 to get to 32 times 2. So we're going to get 64 if we play these two. Um, and that's okay. But can't we do better? Yes, we can. I see 3, 4, 5, 6 right here. Which means all I'd need is a 2 and a 7 or a 7 and an 8. Um, or honestly, just a two. Um, I mean, I could play it with the ace, but I don't need it. So a seven, eight, or two and seven give me a straight. So I'm going to discard these two cards. Now, usually when you're discarding, you want to try to discard as many cards as possible because you're limited on how many discards you can play. But in this case, I have two aces. I don't want to discard these personally. And I'm really just trying to spike this straight. So I'm going to click discard. It's not the most efficient, but um, we ended up not getting a straight, but we got an extra four. So we got two pair. So let's play that. Two aces, two fours. This is two pair. And um, I'm also going to just throw in this three, the lowest card I have, just trash it. Now, what this is going to give me is 20 times two, but we first add to the blue. That's why the 11 is in blue, by the way, because it's adding to the chips value, which is this blue number. And then if you see a red number, it means it's adding to the multiplier or MALT is the abbreviation the game uses. So we're going to get 22 plus 8, 30. So it's going to be 60 times 2, which is going to be 120, which is actually going to be exactly enough to win. So we're going to play. And, oh my god. I'm sorry. Classic move. Um, I mathed so wrong, and I'm so embarrassed, um, but that's okay. We still have more time to play. Um, you were probably like, you fool. You need 140, not 120. And you're right. That was right. I, I overly, I sometimes do that. I overly eager think like, oh my god, I got exactly what I need. No, 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 no. And that's actually a good tip. If you're like me, and math isn't your strong suit, sometimes it's better to slow down and calculate it again, because you can't take it back when you play it in this game, and um, I am can be too eager and just like pounce on something. I've pounced on something to either do the wrong math, or think I had a straight when I didn't, or think I had a certain combination, like a flush, and like, oh no, wait, that was a club, not a spade, oh my gosh. So... It always pays to go slow because you cannot take it back. So in this case, we have another nice two-pair situation. And I'll throw in this five, and this will do it. All right. So let's see what we get. So we immediately get to $3 from winning and then you see we get one dollar for remaining hands now um when i said you get money for remaining discards that's only if you have a certain deck the green deck unlocked you get money with remaining hands regardless um unless you have something else going on but so it's actually better to try to use your discards to decrease the number of hands you need to get the extra cash 
in this case. Now, it's not that much money. We cash out for four bucks. So we have four dollars and we're going to get four dollars to get eight. And now we get to go to the shop. So after each round, you get to go to the shop, but you only get to go to the shop if you don't skip. If you skip and take the tag, you don't go to the shop. So one of the great things about actually fighting the blind is that you get a, to see the shop. Now, if you don't care, then that's fine. Now, here's what we get to buy. So up top, we, we see an, um, a joker. We see a, a tarot card that we can play that modifies one of our cards. We see booster packs. And this is where, at least when I saw this happen, I was sold on the game. I was already thinking it was pretty fun. But then when you see what you're doing, you're basically trying to break poker. You're trying to make the most unfair, unreasonable, ridiculous combinations possible and quite literally stack the deck in your favor to just make those numbers go through the roof, get a bunch of money, crush the blinds and win. Now, here's what we can do. We can buy nothing and click next round. We can re-roll, which re-rolls these top cards, not these. Re-rolls the tops. And then you can buy these and you could buy a voucher. So by default, you'll see two cards in the Joker area, and they could be a tarot card, which is like a consumable um, one-use thing, and they have different effects. This one enhances one selected card into a wild card. So this permanently changes a card in your deck that you get to pick into a wild card, which means it can count as any suit. This Joker says every played card permanently gains four chips when scored. So what this means is if you buy this Joker, it goes into this top panel and you can have, by default, five Jokers in play. And it's always active. So this just adds four chips to every card that you're playing. This is actually not bad. We could also instead buy a standard pack, which lets us see three cards and add one to our deck. So this is very good for if you, like, let's say you're going for three of a kind and you have... Um, you know, four fours in your deck and you see another four, well, why not add another four to your deck so you have five fours that you could try to, you know, match up. And then there's a celestial pack, which gives you planet cards. Now, all of these different packs have different effects and you'll learn them as you go, but the planet cards are used to, if I click on run info, level up your card ranks for different combos. So like you could get a planet, for example, um, like Earth, which levels up Full House. And this will take Full House to level 2, which means it will add generally to its chips and to its multiplier and give you a higher value whenever you play a Full House. By the way, from this Run Info screen, you can click on Blinds to see what's coming up, the big blind and the boss. And then you can click on Vouchers to see all of the vouchers you have. What are vouchers, you say? Let me go back. They're right here. You pay 10 bucks for these generally, and they do different things. They permanently affect you. Sometimes they give you more hands that you can play, more discards that you can do, uh, more, you know, uh, jokers, more consumables, whatever it might be. Uh, more cards appear at the shop. This one says it doesn't do anything. Now, um, that looks like it has a hidden effect that you would get if you bought it, but we don't even have $10 to buy it. So here's what I'm going to do. Um... Now, it is worth mentioning that you can gain interest in this game, and you can gain $1 in interest, I believe, for every $5 that you have saved up, um, up to a maximum of $5 per round, I think. Yes, I just verified that on interest. It, the reason is, the last time I was playing, I had some stuff that modified how interest was collected, so I just wanted to make sure I had the base interest right. That is correct. So currently, like, I have 8 bucks. so if I don't spend any money, and then I go to the next... Um, blind fight and I win, I would get an extra buck because I have over $5. And if you have $25, you'd get an extra five bucks. So if you want to make a lot of money, it's good to have a lot of money. But to make our deck stronger right away, and so for the purposes of the tutorial, I can just talk about jokers. I'm going to buy this joker. Now you'll see on the joker, it has a rarity at the bottom. There is um, common, uncommon, rare, at least that you'll see at the beginning of the game. And this sort of gives you an indication of power level, but not all the time. Sometimes a common can be great and a rare can be situational. It just depends. But in this case, like if we're playing, let's just say, for example, we played two pair 
that's four cards. That gives me 16 extra chips that can be multiplied. That's pretty good, right? So this is going to add up. We'll show you. Let's buy it. So it, when I buy it, it goes up here at the top. Now these trigger left to right. So when, if it mattered, I can move it around, but I only have one, so it doesn't matter. Now that I'm done buying stuff, I'm going to go to the next round. All right. So I could skip again by getting this double tag, which gives a copy of the next selected tag, which could be cool, but again, we're going to fight the blind. All we need is over 450. We get um, four plus bucks, and then we would get to see a shop before we go fight the boss. Now, it is worth mentioning right now, it hasn't come up yet because we're not building our deck, but my first loss in this game came to um, a boss that hosed a suit that I was playing and I didn't realize it. So always look at what the boss is doing. So in this case, at the end of this ante, we're going to fight this boss. You can't skip this. You got to fight it. And you need to get 600 money to beat it. But you see how all bosses have um, a, an ability that like limits you. And in this case, all club cards are debuffed. That means if you play a club, it does not score. You can play it to complete a hand, but it doesn't give you any chips or multiplier or any of its abilities activate. So if you were going in like hardcore for clubs, like trying to make a club flush deck, like you were turning all your cards into clubs, which is something you can do, by the way, make like all your stuff clubs and really go on that, this would be a nightmare to see which is why you need to have some kind of a backup plan. Now, for us, this is going to be annoying, but not break us. But it's so important to pay attention to what the boss is doing so that you can do your very best to plan for it. All right, I'm going to select right here. We go to round two. We go to um, this situation here, and I've got four hands left. And I've got four discards left. And I look at my hand. I've got two, three, four, five. So I've got my way to a straight. I have um, a pair of threes. By the way, you can sort your hand by rank or suit. So you could click suit really quickly to see if you're close to a flush. I do have three diamonds. You know. And you could go back to rank to sort them in order. But I'm not thrilled with what I've got. So what I could do is just say, you know what? I'm close to a straight and I've got a pair. Let's just get rid of everything that's not invested in that. So I'm going to kill my king, my 10, and my 8. And what we're trying to do is draw, you know, an ace or a 6, or a 6 and a 7, or another 3 or something like that. Just some kind of improvement. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to discard. Now, a straight is better for us because of this hiker joker that we have. Why is that? Because this guy gets better the more cards that we play um, from our hand. Now... It is important to see that this guy is also good to buy early. Why is that? Uh, because it says every played card permanently gains four chips when scored. So this is how you get nuts in Bellatro and why it's so much fun. You see how, like, for example, if I played my five, it'd get five. And then when we scored it, um, you know, it would get nine. But that plus four from this would be permanent. So it'd be nine. Next time I played it, it'd get another plus four. So you can, this is really good to get early because we get more time to boost up the cards in our deck permanently with this effect. And it triggers based on how many cards played. So you only have a certain number of hands. So you could actually, you know, get into a situation where you wanted to delay just to play a lot of cards to use this if you wanted. I'm going to do this just to see if it works out for us. And um, it most certainly did not in the sense of getting a straight, but we got two twos and two threes. So we have two pair. So do, 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 do. Now, it does say though here, plus four chips when scored. So what this means is if I threw the four into this, it would not get plus four chips because it's not gonna be scored. But let's see how this actually activates. Let's play the hand. So right now we're getting 20 times two. And um, this is gonna be, we're gonna get six, plus 4, so it's going to be 10, so it's going to be 30 times 2, so theoretically we're getting 60. But, let's see how this scores. If it scores it where these all get plus 4, so we're going to get 16 plus our 10, so it's going to actually be 26 
So 46 times 2, right? So do we get 92 here because of this guy? Or does this happen after? Let's see. So check this out. It is important to note that. This effect doesn't happen until after. So it's when scored, and you have to learn the interactions with this. I've actually never played this hiker before, so I was unsure myself how it would how it would go. And with card games, you have to learn the language, the lingo, and the sequencing. So when scored means like after it's scored, it gets plus four, and it doesn't affect it that round. So we only got the 30 times two and not the 46 times two. That's not a deal breaker because the effect is so good. But if you were up against it and you were about to lose and you calculated that wrong, you would be sad. So it's good to just, that's why I like playing the blinds. So you can learn more and more about the different interactions. All right, so what do we have here? We have two nines, we have two eights and an ace. Um, we also have three spades. Nothing that's like blow me away. So in this situation, I'm going to discard. Uh, all of these. I'm going to keep the ace. Just because if we get an ace, it's good to play. I'm going to get rid of this four. So I'm going to play two pair again. This is not great. Like we're kind of struggling a little bit. But I'm playing slow to take advantage of this. I'm like building for the future a little bit. This isn't an ultra powerful effect. In general, multiplier is always better than chips unless it's a huge number of chips. Because think about it. If you're multiplying, it's additive versus multiplicative. So you always want to multiply instead of add. But chips helps. So... In this case, we're building up the chip value of these cards, which is good. So we're going to play this hand. Okay. So now we have two hands to win. And it's getting spicy. Like, I'm getting, you know, like, uh-oh. So we've got to make a bunch right here. So how can we do that? Well, one thing is we need to get more aggressive with discarding. So we're going to discard all of these. Now, I could say one, two, three spades. Like, let's go for a flush. That's really powerful. Uh, but a full house would go a long way to helping us right here. So we're going to discard these and hope that we can draw um, something that we didn't. So in this case, we didn't draw anything good for us. So... Um, I'm going to discard these again because I know that I still have a queen, two queens and a king left. Um, so I'm going to kick these out. And we still did not get it. So in this case, um, we're up against the end right here. And we need to play these and play this and just pray, basically. So we have to get 150. Now, we got lucky because we got a straight. But this might still not be enough. It's 120 flat. Okay, it's going to be enough. But I'll tell you right now, I wasn't sure if we were going to win or not. And do not feel bad if you lose your tutorial run, like your first run in this game, early. Because you don't have access to very powerful jokers and combinations so you're just going to be scoring lower at least that's my that's how it worked for me like until i unlock some better jokers you're getting from this pool plus there's the rng of like what you have available we only so far got to see one joker that was in like that was worth it um and that's all we got so it's like there wasn't really much for us to do, but luckily, 
through some aggressive discarding and through uh, a little bit of luck here, we ended up with this end hand. So again, don't feel bad if you lose because you're unlocking permanently jokers for your account and new decks for your account, which will make you more powerful. And because we scrape by, all of these cards are getting upgraded. All right, so we won. And barely, we get four bucks. And we get to cash out. So that was nerve-wracking. Okay, so what are our choices? So we see two new booster packs, and we see two new cards up here. This Joker says played cards with Diamond Suit give um, plus four multiplier when scored. Okay, so this is tremendously powerful. Remember like what I said, anything that adds or affects multiplier is huge. This makes it so a full house. This is a planet card that you would get from the Celestial pack. This is what it looks like. And this is great for making a full house more powerful. But um, right now, let me tell you. I could buy a standard pack. I could get to see five cards and choose a card for six bucks. That would be everything I could do. I could buy the Celestial Pack and take Earth. That's like the most efficient use of my money. But if I want to boost my deck the most, it's this. Because every time I play a Diamond, which is a quarter of my deck, I'm just going to be um, boosting my multiplier. This is going to be what helps us survive. I have to buy this, in my opinion. So now we have two Jokers. Now, um, the sequencing of this doesn't matter that much because this isn't affecting until after, but if it did matter, you can shuffle these around. All right, next round. Okay, so club cards are debuffed, and here we go. Let's go. We're fighting the boss. So we need 600. So when cards are debuffed, you'll see they have this X through them, and if you mouse over it, it'll tell you. Scores, no chips, and all abilities are disabled. This is one of the great things about the game. The UI is super informative. You can see right here, look at this. This three has been powered up. It tells you plus three, plus the extra that we got from the hiker. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to look for diamonds a lot. And we have one, two, three diamonds already. So I'm going to kill all these clubs and this spade and this heart, and I'm just going to dig hard for diamonds. I'm going to discard five, like right off the go. I do have a pair of tens, but it's not as good as it could be because of this. Um, so discard. Okay, so if we sort by suit, we could see that um, almost improbably we drew new diamonds, um, which is sad. So what do we have? Do we have anything good? We have a pair. And... We have, like, a double belly buster draw to a straight, which is terrible. So instead, I'm going to go back to sorting by suit, and I'm just going to be like, get out of here. And now we have a higher chance of getting diamonds. So let's just go for it. Okay, the game is trolling us um, at this point. Uh, it's pretty improbable to not draw um, diamonds. There's 10 left in the deck. Um, so what do we got? We have two pair. I'm going to discard again. There we go. Okay. So now the game has decided to be reasonable and we can play all of these. Now the cool thing is, that was greedy. That was like all of my discards, but look at what we get because we did it. We get the flush, which is by itself 35 times 4. And now we're going to get plus 4 5 times. So we're going to get 20 added to the multiplier. Plus we're going to get... Um, this one is already boosted, so these are boosted. They're going to get boosted again. So we're going to get all of this chip value with our extra chip value. And you could start to see the semblance of a combo happening where we're going to want to be playing diamonds a lot because of this greedy joker. And then this guy is going to power up our diamonds chip value every time we play it. So this is what you're trying to do in Bellatro. You're trying to like 
be greedy as all get out. Discard heavily to try to get what you're going for. Sometimes it might backfire and you need to like play it safer. You gotta... Every player is gonna be different. There's perhaps a sweet spot for risk reward, but some players are just gonna have a higher appetite for risk. I had a huge appetite for risk. I was like, I'm getting this flush no matter what happens. And even though you're gonna give me no diamonds, I know that that's increasing my chance of drawing diamonds later. Um, yes, right, it does. Uh, because it's not like they're added back into the deck. I had to think about that for a moment. I was like, wait, did they just add it right back? No, no, no. You can, the probability does go down after played cards. So in this case, we've got five, and we're going to play this hand, and watch what happens. So calculate left to right. So you see the card goes, then the jokers go, then the card goes, and we're moving left to right. You see how the the numbers on the left are in, on fire? That means we're going to win right here by a ton. So we got 1,776, um, you know, Independence Day trigger right there. We get bonus cash because we actually beat that on the first hand. And we get the five for beating it. So we cash out with eight, just like that. Rocking. So now we have 10 bucks. We could buy a voucher, um, but this voucher stinks. Uh, or I'll tell you what, it doesn't stink. Honestly, I don't know what it does, but I'm going to tell you this. It has no effect that I can see right now, and I need effects. Like, I don't have enough cash to just throw around on a voucher that I don't know what it does. So, let's look at what we do know. This says, um, <laughs> this is hilarious. So, this one gives you plus 15 multiplier when zero discards remain. This means you go all in, you discard everything on your first hand and just try to hit Jin on your first hand, and then for each subsequent hand, you just have to roll with what you got. It's very swingy. It's very like you have no contingency plan. This is your contingency plan kind of thing. This says, oh my goodness, this is what you're talking about. So this is a tarot card. This converts three cards to a diamond. So this would allow us to, you know how we were having trouble drawing diamonds? This lets us say, hey, we have 13 diamonds. Why not just make 16 diamonds and then um increase the ratio of diamonds the proportion of diamonds that we have in the deck it's amazing um we probably want to keep interest so i might just buy this we could buy this um and we could buy this i mean to you know boost flush now remember next round can i see what's going on okay so yes we can okay i did that wrong uh, <laughs> okay, it's it's okay because we save money, but I clicked next round so I could see the preview of what we were going to face, but what I needed to click was run info and click blinds to see if it would show me this. By clicking next round, I exited the shop without buying anything, so we actually don't get a chance to buy that. And that's a good example. Um, I'm playing very quickly, and I'm excited, and uh, I click too fast, so... Be careful. You can't go back to the shop. There is no going back. So learn from my mistake. However, the benefit is we have 10 bucks, so we're going to collect $2 in interest, which we can use to buy something perhaps better in the next round. Now, what does this give me if I skip? $5 per skip blind. We, we haven't skipped any, so this is only going to give me 5 bucks. I'm going to go against this because for my money right now, I want to keep playing because the um, instead of skipping, because the hiker, every time I get to use the hiker, I'm getting the opportunity to power up the cards in my deck. Granted, it's not the most powerful thing, but it's better than nothing, so let's go. Okay, so what we see here is, um, you know, we could sort by suit or by rank, and we have, you know, an inside straight draw, right? We get a three and we're good. That's nice. So I'm going to discard these three cards right now and try to get more diamonds, but also try to uh, get some straight cards. So what did we get? Well, we got another diamond, and we got ace, two, but we still need a three. We actually have four clubs. 
so in this case um you know we might want to discard our diamonds to try to get the club flush but No, let's just be greedy and discard it all and just try to get diamonds. And there we go. So again, one, two, three, four, five. And um, there's arguments to be made here and your appetite varies like and changes. Everybody's play style will change. You could say you should be playing as much as you can to maximize the hiker. And I get that. But if we play this and it ends up winning we will get the bonus money from hands defeated and we will power up diamonds which we want the reason i wanted to look at run info and see the blind at the end was because i wanted to make sure it wasn't hosing diamonds because if it was then i was going to make different choices at the shop this says one in seven cards get drawn face down whenever you see this this is disquieting to know that your cards are going to be face down but if you discard them um, they they come back and they will be face up. So, or it won't be one in seven, so you'll get to see it with the face up if you want. Um, I'm going to play this. We're upgrading cards. That 10 was already upgraded. You can see it got upgraded again. Look at this. This three has been upgraded three times. This three is like giving more than an ace now. And yeah, we won on the first one. So we win right away. We get three bucks from the blind from defeating it. We get three bucks right there. And we get two bucks in interest, which means eight dollars. So let's see if there's anything that we want here. Um, this guy says you get more multiplier per enhancement card played. Removes card enhancement. Um... I don't like this. Um, I have a lot of enhanced card. So this would drain my enhancement for multiplier. This probably in the long run would be good. Um, but it's a little bit awkward to get working because I'd have to drain at least five cards. Um, I think actually it starts at point one or times one. So it's not zero. So the first card it drains, you start to get a, a bonus. This could be good. And then this says adds a stone card. You know what? I had to step away for a second and I was thinking, actually, this vampire is good for us. The reason it's good is because of X multiplier. Whenever you're multiplying the multiplier, things can get insane. Once you get this above two, um, we're going to see a better benefit than even the plus four chip value on many cards at first i was upset because like if i have upgraded something like four or five times with the hiker and this guy removes the enhancement that would be a bummer but at the same time if we can get this rolling this could be phenomenal now that being said i don't know i think that this counts as being enhanced for the purposes of this but if enhance is really only um spectral enhancements or other enhancements then we might be in a bad way but like uh for example let me see um yeah this card right here it doesn't maybe this it doesn't count as an enhancement so what we'd have to do is find out if it does so I'm going to see if this works. And sometimes that's the best thing to do is just to experiment and see how these things synergize. I'm sure there's a wiki. Maybe the game has only been out for a week, so there might not be. Um, that shows all of the interactions and what qualifies as enhancement. Because, um, you know, the, the text is yellow. This guy's text is yellow. So I think that's right. Like, stone is an enhancement. And, um, but... I don't know. You know what I mean? Because blind there is yellow. So I, I'm not sure. The only thing I could do is experiment. And I'm going to try it. So I'm going to put this guy. Now, if you do get a times multiplier, 
you want this at the end of the calculations before anything gets added. So you want it to be added, then multiplied for the bigger effect. And so you have to, you know, think a little bit about mathematics and strategy as you're playing this. But let's see if this works. And I'm going to save all this money for, am I? Do I want to save it for two bucks of interest? You know what? This is the tutorial. This is me trying to explain. So I haven't showed you guys Spectral yet. Um, we've seen planet cards from Celestial Packs, but let's let's see a Spectral. Open. So this will let us choose one of these two. And this is going to um, add a purple seal. And this one is going to discard, destroy five cards in my hand and give me 20 bucks. Um, this is good if you're trying to thin your deck intentionally and you just happen to... So what usually happens here with these is you'll draw eight cards just like a normal hand and then you get your spectrals and you can use these cards to play them upon. You don't get to pick from your deck. They're, they're used immediately. So I don't want to do this. $20 is nice, um, but there's some diamonds up here that I don't really want to destroy. So instead, I'm going to take the Purple Seal. Now, this creates a tarot card when you discard it. So this is great because if every time you draw a card with a Purple Seal, if you discard it or you play it as a card to be discarded, you get a tarot card. I believe it counts if you play it and it's not part of the hand. I'll have to check that. But this is very nice, and it probably works for this. Um, however, he will eat this. So if we play the card, but we're going to be discarding it, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to use this. Now, what do I want to use it on? A card that I want to discard. So, like, two of hearts, for example, is worth nothing. It's not even enhanced. So, I'm going to put this on a, an, a card that's garbage that I want to discard anyway, and I'm going to put medium right here, and you see it gets this purple seal on it, and then there we go. I'm not going to buy anything else. I'm going to keep my money for the interest and go to the next round. Okay, so we need to get 1,200, and now this is nice to juggle tag because it gives you plus three hand size for the next round, which would make the boss fight significantly easier, but I want to try to boost these jokers up, so I need a fight to do that, so we're going to go into this. All right, so here we go. So we ended up with four clubs just right away. And a pair of queens. We could go back to sorting it by rank. Uh, you know, like, if we drew a 10, we'd have a straight. Sort of a little straight action here. But I think the best thing that we see right now is our clubs. So I'm just going to go ahead and discard all of these. And um, we got a club. So... Okay, this one's been boosted, so we're going to see if this guy will actually interact with this enhancement or not, and see if these work together. So let's uh, play this hand. So he's going to trigger. And no, he is not impressed by this. So, unfortunately, uh, these do not work together, so good to know. All right, uh, let's see. We got four hearts and a diamond, so I'm going to get rid of these three spades uh, and my diamond as well. There we go. Now, we could play this and see if he gobbles it up to boost our multiplier, but we might instead want to get some tarot cards. I'm going to play it and see if he eats it. I think he will. Because honestly, um, <sighs> now, do I want to do that? It's a very little boost. If I got a few tarot cards, it would be pretty sick. Now, let's do it. Let's just see if it works. Just see what, what constitutes as an enhancement. Um, okay, play the hand. So we're going to get another flush here. Either way, we're upgrading all these cards. It's pretty sweet.
Okay, so no, he's not eating it. So enhancement, maybe it's like wild card, stone card. I'll have to see. Okay. Um, I am sorting by suit. And let's see by rank. Okay, so we have a pair of 10s if we're interested. Not really that great. We could try to get some diamonds going. I have two. There you go. One, two, three, four, five diamonds. Okay, so we win. And, um... We got some interest, we got four, we got one remaining hand, so we get six bucks. I gotta tell you, um, every played card counts in scoring. So this is nice if you're just throwing in garbage cards um, that you get to count their chip value. It actually works well with our hiker in that way. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, buy a buffoon pack because it gives you two jokers. We're, we're missing some jokers. I like to have a lot of jokers. Um, so this will give us a, to look at two jokers and we get to pick one that tries to work with what we've got. This guy says um, for each planet card we use, we get a bonus. And this guy says for each tarot card, we get a bonus. Um, so we want this one. Now, actually, this one is better. Yeah. Okay. This one... We have a, a purple seal card, so we might get tarot cards. But this is an additive multiplier, whereas this is a multiplicative... I can never say um, that word. I Multiplicative? <laughs> How about that? This is multiplying the multiplier. So this is actually more powerful, and we, uh, we're going to select it. And we want this at the end, and now we can buy this right here, this celestial pack, and use this to boost this up right now. So what are we looking for? Well, this is uh, straight flush, high card, and three of a kind. So straight flush is cool, but the likelihood of us getting that is so unlikely. High card, you never really want to play just high card. Three of a kind is nice. So I'm going to take this because three of a kind is already pretty good. This will level up three of a kind. So if you click on run info, you see three of a kind right now, it's level one. It's 30 times three. But if I click on this, it'll then go to add 2 to the multiplier and 20 to the chips. So it'll be 50 times 5, I believe. So let's use this. Yep, so now it's 50 times 5 if we play 3 of a kind. And this guy gets stronger. So how about that? Now, we could keep 5 bucks and get the interest, or we could do the Wheel of Fortune. Now, these are probably enhancements, foil, holographic, polychrome, but the Wheel of Fortune is only 25% <laughs> effect. Like, it only triggers on a one out of four so i i've never gotten it to work i bought it many times and always failed so i'm just gonna save my money and here we go into the wheel okay so it says one in seven cards get drawn face down we were told that we know and at this point what do we want to do well we can sort by suit now watch this see how the cards are face down but when you sort it it puts them in a position where you can kind of actually figure out what they are in terms of at least their suit and maybe their rank. So this is a low card. It's below a 4. This is between a 10 and an 8. It could be um, an 8 or a 10, perhaps. But um, let's think about this. We have 4 spades. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the easy way and just discard all of these cards like this. And you see how now when we draw cards, they're not face down. Now, we didn't get any spades. Uh, one, two, three, four. Which is frustrating, but that's okay. One, uh, two, 
three, four, again, discard. Let's go. There's a spade. Okay. So this is not a diamond flush, but this is still a lot of chips. Okay. So, um, this is not a diamond. We know that. It's uh, a spade or a heart. It's way over there. So let's go by rank. We have a pair of nines. Um... This is a jack or a queen. We don't know. I have two discards left. So I'm going to get rid of everything that... I'm going to get rid of this because it's face down. Everything that's not a diamond, I'm going to discard it. Okay, one, two, three, four diamonds right there. And we have one discard left, which is like sort of making me nervous. But... Look at we have 26 cards left and 8 of them are diamonds so we should be able to draw a diamond. It's pretty risky. So if we like discard all of this, hopefully we get a diamond. Worst case scenario, we just have to play like a high card hand. Okay, and we did. We got the ace of diamonds. How about that? There you go. And we win. Okay, eight bucks. And uncommon jokers each give Wow, look at this guy. Um, times 1.5 multiplier. So this is uncommon, this is uncommon, this is common, and this is uncommon. So we definitely want to buy this one because we have three uncommon jokers. So this would add to our multiplier so significantly. So I'm going to buy this right away. And that's what you're trying to do in this game. You're trying to synergize with what you've got. And you need to see shops to do that. Uh, we want to buy a planet card to boost up this. Uh, we want to actually put this first, I think, so that it affects these cards before they trigger, I think. I'll see how this plays out. And we will buy this jumbo planet pack. Oh, we don't have enough money. Wah, wah. All right, so we could try to buy a standard pack if we want so we can get more diamonds or something, but I'm just going to keep the keep it. Let's go. All right, so let's see. This guy says extra large blind is his power-up, which means, like, he's got more... Like, normally you wouldn't need to get 11,000, but he takes more chips to beat. So it's not hosing diamonds, so we're good on that. And let's see. This guy says if we skip it, we get to choose two... Spe uh, this gives a free spectral pack. So do we want to skip this for a Spectral Pack? Um, spectral Pack is not necessarily going to help this. It certainly won't help this, and it doesn't do anything for this either. Uh, so I think I'll just do this and get to see the shop instead of just a Spectral Pack. Okay. So, sort by suit. We have three hearts by rank, um, eight, nine, ten. We we need a jack to get a straight going here. You know what? Why bother? All I'm looking for are diamonds. All right. Now we got three aces. So three aces, remember we have the, uh, we did level up three of a kind. And none of these are diamonds, so we could just play these to try to get some more diamonds. 
and we're going to play these two to de facto discard them. So we play these, and then we'll get rid of the 10 and the 5. We'll get the value from this. Let's see how this actually works. Yeah. Oh, so he gets... Um, right. Okay. I still think we want this first so that they... it. So this happens before they trigger. I think that's how it's working. Okay. So this is interesting because um, I have sort by suit. One, two, three, four diamonds. So I want to discard this anyway to get the free tarot card. So we're going to discard all of these. And we get this tarot card to create a random joker. So we'd have to sell a joker that we don't want and take a joker. And honestly, this guy is doing nothing for me except getting benefited from this. So is it worth having a 1.5 times, or do I want to see a random joker? Honestly, I'm not... Um, hmm. I'm going to gamble. It's uncommon, so we probably get a common. But 1.5 is a lot, though. No, because I'll save this. I'll save it. It is a good thing to mention, though. You see how we have five jokers? You could click on the joker, and at any time you could sell it to make room. So you could click on any of these to sell them, and they have a value. Now, you can't sell cards in your hand, um, but you could sell jokers and consumables. I could even sell this if I wanted to. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and play five diamonds like this. They will all boost... How about that? So now we're actually rolling pretty well with some multipliers. We got five bucks, six bucks, cash out. All right. Um, I'm going to click on these to just bring them back down. Let's see. What do we want? So this boosts three of a kind. These are both common. Um, I'm going to take the Mega Standard Pack. It's expensive. We go under interest, but this is what we're talking about. So this is where the Vampire might actually come into play. So this is a gold card. So enhancements might be the purple thing. So, gold cards give you $3 if held in your hand at the end of the round. Um, and then this gives you money. At, it's also a gold card. And this one gives you extra chips. So, I'm going to take uh, the diamond. And I'm going to take this. Um, okay, well, you have to select them one at a time. Oh, this also has a gold seal. Okay, I'm going to actually take that one. Because I want to try to play this. And... Do I? No, I want this one. Okay. And this is good. Next round. Alright, so we could skip. And we could upgrade three of a kind by three levels. Which is actually crazy. Uh, that's a lot of upgrading. Do I want that? Yeah, I only have three bucks, so I'm actually going to take this. So we're going to skip the blind for the first time, and you can see three of a kind goes up to level five. So now it's 11 times 110. So now let's fight the wall. Okay, so this guy has an extra large blind, but right away, look at this. We drew four diamonds just right off the go. If we sort this by rank, you could see that um, we have a pair of sixes, and we actually almost have a straight flush. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, get rid of all of these cards right here. Okay. And um, by suit, no, but by rank, uh, we got three of a kind. And we actually have a full house. 
but three of a kind is what we want. It's crazy because if you think about poker, you're like, well, full house is always better. Not, we haven't leveled up full house. It's only level one. So actually three of a kind is stronger. We're going to get rid of this five as well. And so this is going to give us this value plus everything else because it's got a diamond. How about that? Just about 8,000 in one hand. So good. Um, now we have one, two, three, four diamonds. And we're just going to go all in on the diamonds. And it hit. Now I want to play this card because I want to see if he gobbles it. Oh, we have a straight flush. Which is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, let's play it. So watch this. He did eat it. Okay, so that's the enhancement. So I'm learning some of these things with you um, because I haven't... You know, the game just came out. But that's what an enhancement is. It's not being benefited from this. It's also not having a seal on it. It has to be um, one of those types of uh, bonuses. All right, we got a new Joker unlocked. You'll see unlocks appear on the right side of the screen. We cash out for seven bucks right there. And... Um, popcorn is actually really good early on. It's a huge boost to your multiplier. Uh, but there's one card that I want right here. This would this would boost our planets, which boost this guy, which is great. Um, but this voucher just gives you a discard for the rest of the game. So we can keep looking for what we want. I like this one a lot. I'm going to redeem it. It's all of our money. But now we have five discards permanently. So, beautiful. Let's go to the next round. Okay. So this guy says, decrease level of played poker hand. Okay. Um, so what this means is, it. I didn't understand this at first, but basically if you go to run info, you see how my three of a kind is level five. It goes down to level four. Now, you can't go below level one if it decreases your level. It used to do that, from what I understand, which is so brutal. Uh, but now it, it minimizes it one, so you don't just lose the run when you fight this guy. Um, this says two, two tarot cards and use them immediately. This is actually very good for us if the tarot cards give us um, enhancements. So I'm going to take this. Okay. So let's see if we can get one. This makes it a lucky card. This makes it um, enhances a card to a glass card. Perfect. There's an enhancement. Enhances it to a gold card. Destroy two cards and increases the rank. Now this will not enhance it. It will just raise up like a 10 to a jack or an 8 to a 9. So we want the ones that say enhance. So we get to choose two for this guy to gobble up. So we're going to choose uh, make a, a card glass. Um, I'll make the 8 of hearts glass. No, you know what? I'm going to make my four of diamonds glass, actually. I don't like glass because it has a chance, as you could see, to um, one in four chance to get destroyed. But I think he'll eat it before it could happen. So I'm going to just use that on the four. So it's been enhanced so that he can eat it. And then... Um, lucky is uh, ridiculous. It doesn't always happen, but if... I mean... You could just win 20 bucks, which is so good. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put this on my um, King of Diamonds. He doesn't kill the card. He just eats the enhancement. All right, great. So now this says choose two cards to add to your deck. Um, that's pretty good, but I think I want to just win the blind right here, get some money, and feed the vampire. Okay, so... If I sort by suit, we have two diamonds. That's no good. We actually didn't get hardly anything that's of value. Uh, so I'm going to discard these three cards. I'm going to try to get three of a kind um, or more diamonds. I really didn't. So I'm going to then go all in on the face cards at this point and the diamonds. Okay, so we did get this, which is lucky, but we don't have enough diamonds yet, so I am going to just say, okay, we don't have time to mess around. Please get rid of these. 
And we dot there. Ooh, and we're going to feed two enhancements. One, two, three, four, five. Flush. Play the hand. So here we go. Yeah, he eats it before it triggers, actually. But now he's giving us 1.6, and we're getting 1.5. So look at this number right here. Look at that. 143. We just got 18,000 in one hand. How about that? There's seven bucks. Cash out. So good. All right. Um... Consecutive hand play without scoring a face card or straight. Uh, no, thank you. I think we either take um, one of five tarot cards or one of five playing cards. Now, we want tarot cards to keep boosting this guy, I think. Um, I'm actually going to just sell this. for. It's only a dollar, but eh. Do I want more... I kind of think I actually want this because this gives me a better chance to get diamonds or three of a kinds. Um, and yeah, you could just draw enhancements. So in this case, uh, this is a steel card. This is a foil card and a steel card. This is a multiplier card. These are ridiculous like cards. You could see what the different, this is a malt card, holographic, steel card, foil, um, I'm going to take this one because I want diamonds, but um, generally what you want to do with steel cards is leave them in your hand because it just gives you a 1.5 times multiplier. I mean, leave them, yeah, in your hand down below. It's so good, but we're going to play this to gobble it up to feed it to this guy. And we're going to go. All right, so let's do it. Okay, decrease the level of played poker hand. Fine. Um, if we discard this, we do get a tarot card, which is great. So, I'm going to discard this, 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 this. The Fool, uh, yes, creates the last card played. Okay, perfect. So, we can make a lucky card. So, um, I'm going to select... Uh, the eight of diamonds to be lucky. Oh, you have to do it this way. Sorry. You have to use it, then use it. Okay. Now we have four diamonds in our hand. I'm just going to keep discarding like this until I get five, one, two, three, four, five. Now this guy is going to eat it, but that is okay. We're going to play the hand. He's up to 1.5. You look at some of these cards. Look how many extra chips some of these. Like, this guy is giving us 24 extra chips. It's so wild. 24, 36, 64, 97, 107, 160. And we beat the boss in one round. Now, we're getting a very good go of it here. It's, especially early, you might not see as fortuitous of a combination as we're getting here um and i've played before but at the same time you could be doing better than i am right now all right we got 14 bucks this says all card packs are 25 percent off for the rest of the game that's pretty cool and this says first played face cards give you double um these are both common so meh the only thing i'd ever think about replacing is this but that gives me the diamond bonus so why would i um planet cards yes for this and standard yes we're gonna buy both of these open Okay, um, so we're all in on three of a kind, so let's keep going with it. This card will get a boost, you see? Here we go. And then, um, let's buy a standard pack. It does take us down from one interest, but we get a chance to see a diamond, um, or an enhancement card that we can feed to the vampire. We get a bunch of really wild cards right here. Um, I want to see what he does to the stone card. So I'm going to take this one. Um, stone cards are interesting because it's like you play it, and normally if you play a card that doesn't match up with what you're playing, it doesn't count, but stone cards always count. So you play it, and it just gives you 50 chips to add to that hand. So it's really powerful. Um, maybe not 
you know, in the end game stuff, but this is good. And um, we get three bucks when we play it. So I think the vampire will eat this. So I'm going to take it. We didn't get a diamond anyway. So take it. And uh, next round. So if we skip, uh, we get a copy of the next selected tag. And this, no, we don't want this. Um, we'll just fight the blind and boost this up. Okay, so what do we have here? We have three of a kind on fives. You see how three of a kind is level six? So it's just like a staggering amount of numbers. Um, I'm going to also throw in some garbage that I don't care about right now. I do have three spades, um, but that's okay. So he ate that. Now he's double. He's times two multiplier. And look at this. How about that? That was just three of kind, and we got 20,000. So now our deck has two ways to win, by playing diamond flushes or playing three of a kinds, preferably three of kinds to have a bunch of diamonds. So we cash out with seven bucks right there. And what do we see? This says re-trigger our all cards held in hands. This is really cool, um, but I don't want to get rid of this. And then this says create two tarot cards. That's great. I actually will buy this and use it. So we got the Hierophant, which enhances two cards to bonus cards. Perfect for our vampire. And this uh, converts cards to hearts. Ah, darn. Um, I don't really want that, but it's better to have hearts than have clubs, for example. So we have more opportunity to get flush, I guess. Or we could sell this for a buck. You know, it's something to think about. I'm actually going to buy this standard pack right here it does hurt us on interest but we get an opportunity to feed the vampire um and get some more diamonds so this will be for the vampire and next round um we're not going to skip to re-roll for zero now this guy says all face cards drawn are face down for the boss that is no problem um that's okay. All right. So what we want to do is this. We've got three jacks. So that's three of a kind right away, uh, which is pretty exciting. And we're going to use this to enhance, to just feed our vampire right now. So I'm going to select uh, these two cards and just enhance them to bonus cards. And it won't really matter. Um... And we'll just put these out there. Lambs to the slaughter. And we'll play it. So this guy's up to 2.4. And, you know, just a smooth 29,000. My goodness. All right. Got eight bucks. Cash out. Okay, this creates two planet cards, which is insane for this. And some standard packs. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is uh, just sell that for a buck. So I can make room for this. And um, I don't even care what these are. Four of a kind levels up. Great. This just boosts the multiplier of our uh, planet guy. Two pair levels up. Great. Now, I haven't... I don't know exactly how it works. So, you see how this guy is now 2.4 multiplier? I don't know if when the baseball card hits it, if it makes 2.4 times 1.5, and then that's what is multiplied, or if it just adds 1.5 to it. I'm not exactly sure if it's multiplying this and multiplying again, or how that is calculated, but it, it's going great for us. Um, one of five or one of three. I'm just going to buy a smaller one right here. And again, you know, we're always trying to get diamonds. We don't see it, but hey, we get something like this, which this is double duty because this will, it's gold, which he can eat, but then the, the, um, 
the seal will stay on it. He doesn't eat the seal. So then we can use this to discard to get free tarot cards. So this is really good for us. So we'll take it. And we're going to go to the next round. And we're going to fight this guy. All right. So face cards are drawn face down. So these are face cards. hey -o. Um. So what I like to do in a situation like this is just say no thank you to all of these. I just want to be able to see my cards. And I didn't get anything. I'm not going to just play a high card. Plus, I have an extra discard that we took from our voucher. By the way, you can click Run Info and click Vouchers to see all your vouchers. This is the only one that we've gotten. And we're going to go ahead and discard all five of these cards. All right. So now um, I could sort by suit to see if this is a diamond. Ooh, it might be. I'm going to just discard aggressively to try to get um, diamonds at this point. Yeah, and I'm going to play this. I can't play it with a flush. It's so brutal, but um, I'd love to. Yeah, this is actually kind of hard to play. I can't just stick it out there. And I can't just do this. You have to play five cards for a flush. So I'd have to find a three of a kind to play that with. That's okay. That might be possible. All right, we got a new Joker unlocked um, for beating that guy handily. All right, and we cash out with nine bucks, and we move on. So let's see. Um, can I click Run Info right here before I do anything and see what the blinds will be for the next round? Um, I cannot. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, that'd be future information. Okay, let's see. Enhanced to a lucky card, great. And these are tarot cards. Okay. So I will buy this because it's a, it's a guaranteed enhancement for the vampire and um, raise the cap on interest earned per round to 10 bucks. So this is what I was talking about, changing interest. If I had way more money, if I had 50, then I could earn 10 bucks. Um, but I'm kind of spending a lot of money here. Okay. So um, this is like Hey, do you want to just get 14 free dollars? Gives the total sell value of all current jokers. This is 14 bucks. This would um, create the last tarot card played. So um, it's a planet card, which would boost this guy, which is nice. Or um, we could convert cards. So like this allows you to, I could make another jack of diamonds, for example, to help me with my diamond flushes and my three of a kinds. It would not count for the vampire as an enhancement. Um, I think this is... We just do this so that we can boost this guy up. And then... I'm going to buy another one. Because I have two Jokers that benefit potentially from this, it's worth it. Um, wild card, spades, and steel card. Steel card is one of my favorites. Um, but I think what we do is we just enhance this Nine of Diamonds to um, a wild card. Plan on playing it, plan on feeding it. You could argue Steel card would be better and you just hold it back and don't feed it to the vampire because 1.5 is amazing. And I totally understand that. Um, let's go. All right. So, um, must play five cards. Okay, this is great for flushes. We have to play five cards. Uh, but it also means, like, I think if you have a three of a kind, you could just play two other cards. I think it means that. But if it doesn't, then we're going to have to be fishing for flushes, which we're doing anyway. So, no problem. Um, after defeating the boss, you get 15 bucks. Nah, that's not. That's okay. We'll just fight. Let's get a shop. All right. So in this case, um, 
enhance one selected card to a lucky card. Yes, let's do this right here. Let's uh, use this to this four of diamonds. And I'm just going to be... Um, looking for a diamond flush. One, two, three, four. Almost there. There it is. And we'll play this. This guy is going to power up all these. He's going to eat that. And he is up to 2.6. And we win. Sweet. All right, so we get six, seven dollars out of that. Okay, so what do we want? Um, this is not good. We have jokers. We're not really into probability too much. This would give us planet cards, um, which we want for this. But it is six dollars. But I'll take it. It's just a permanent. You know, base upgrade to our situation. And, you know, um, if we're looking, yeah, right here for flush, this makes the flush stronger. This is exactly what I wanted. So now we do two for one, right? This is another thing you're looking for. Synergy combos, efficiency, two for one. We boost up flush, which we're trying to get with our diamonds. And we boost up this card as well. Um, I'm going to buy this too. Try to get a diamond or an enhancement for this guy. Uh, this is actually a Queen of Diamonds wild card, which does both things. So he'll eat the enhancement and leave us behind a Queen of Diamonds, which is fantastic. Next round. Um, again, do we want to skip this? No. Okay, so uh, we don't have three of a kind. We don't have diamonds at all, so we're just going to get rid of our low cards here, just like that. Alright, now we got three of a kind, so we can just play this and ditch these. Look at this card. It's giving me 38. <laughs> it's so crazy. So again, we can win with a flush or a three of a kind. A little bit of flexibility. We win easily. We get seven bucks. All right, what do we want? Well, yes and yes. And what is this? Two chips for each remaining card in the deck. Oh, so the bigger deck you have, the better this is. That's cool. Um, no, we want the planet buy and use. No question. Boosts this. If we have to play a pair, it makes us stronger. And then we just buy this. All right. Um, any of these that we really, really want. This one. If I discard it, at the very worst, I get a tarot card. And if I play it, hopefully he'll eat it. I don't know how that works. We'll find out. Let's go. All right. So I'm curious about this because it says you must play five cards. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, you, it, it, it doesn't let you just throw in a card. Um, no, no, it does. It does let you throw in a card. Okay, great. Good to know. All right, so in this case, I'm going to discard everything that is not a diamond. And I'm going to keep this for a three of a kind so I could beat it, potentially. Okay, we got the three of a kind. So we'll do this, right? But then we can play these so it counts. So you have to play five cards against this guy, which is, like, not that big of a deal at all. So we'll play this. He'll eat the gold immediately and then be stronger. All of our jacks are getting upgraded.
Okay. So now... We beat that guy in one hand. <laughs> we got eight bucks. Let's go. All right. Um, this... I don't really like this one. Um, it makes you have one less ante. I think this means it gives you more rounds to play. I'm not really sure. Um, but it gives you one less hand to do it. Now, we don't need that many hands. So we could do this. This would... Um, let us go for further rounds if we wanted to. But I'm going to go with um, Planets and Standard. Heck yeah. And we get um, Jupiter, which is exactly what we want. It helps us with a plush. It helps out here. Tremendous. And then we want um, a Standard Pack, sure. Just try to get a Diamond or an Enhanced card. Um, in this case, we have a lot of jacks, and a steel card is sick, so we'll just go ahead and keep this, um, next round. Okay, so, the boss says, first hand is drawn face down. So this kind of sucks, but what it means is, like, you basically are going to discard your entire first hand. Now, you could sort it by suit, and we know diamonds go all the way to the right, so we could discard stuff on the the left and try to see more cards um but we have an extra discard so this is really not that bad if it said diamonds or hose this would it would be worse but we could focus on three of a kind but still um what's this going to do two oh yeah mega celestial pack perfect perfect skip the blind this is going to give us two planets bump this guy up twice so we know that we want to level up flush we're going to take it and we got a three of a kind as well so this guy is almost double. Look, three of a kind right here. Um, bam, bam. So three of a kind is level seven. This guy's double. Um, this gives us 40 bucks if we skip. Which I really can't say no to $40. That's so much money. Um, so we're going to skip it. And we got a new deck unlocked, the yellow deck. And let's go fight the house. Okay, so you see how these are all face down. We're going to sort by suit. Hopefully the diamonds are over here. So we're going to discard these five. Oh, and we happen to discard one. Yes, that gave us the best possible. Look at this. What a game. Diamond card. We're getting lucky. So... Um, this is the Queen of Diamonds, so we know that these are diamonds. We don't know what this is, but so what? Check this out. We're going to, right away, just click on this. We want our diamonds to be the most valuable cards. So we're going to select this. We're going to select this. And anybody been powered up? Uh, this has once. Honestly, I don't know what this is, so I'm going to pick it and just make it a diamond. And it flipped, this, it, it flipped it, so we got to see it's the King of Diamonds. How sweet is that? So here, one, two, three, four, and five diamonds. And um, it says question mark, like you don't know what you're going to get, but we know that we're going to get a flush because we sorted it by suit. So this guy gobbled it up. He's at 3.2. Check this out. Look how high this is going to go. Yeah, 100,000 in one hand. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. We'll take it. Okay. And there we go. Cash out 13 bucks, just like that. Okay. So now, what we're doing is... Um, let me look at the run info. And... Uh, Okay, we don't get... Yeah, I keep wanting to see the next one. This says $2 per discard. This says each play 10 or 4 gives you more chips. Eh, what's this? Celestial packs always contain the planet card for your most played poker hand. That's pretty sweet. So if we bought this, we have so much money. So we could buy this and get this to, like, um, guarantee it. I'm going to do it. Redeem it. 
That's why we took that 40 bucks. When you get a bunch of money, you could totally splash around. It's awesome. So we're going to do this. Open. And automatically, it guarantees um, our most played hand, which is flush. We're going to use it. And we're just going to try to win the game with flush. But we have three of a kind as a backup. We don't know what the final boss is going to say to us. And we're going to buy this, too. And um, create two planet cards. Insane. Uh, steel card. Or we could make another diamond if we wanted. No, no, no. We want planet cards. Hit me. These aren't even good planets, but we're going to boost this up. This is straight, straight flush. That could happen, actually. All right. So there is a consideration for when you are shifting gears to the, we're at the last round, we're at the last ante, um, and we're getting ready for the final to try to win. Some of these jokers that are like, this one, for example, that are building up our deck, but may we've maybe gotten beyond this point, we would want to find a better Joker to replace this with, and we are going to be on the lookout for that. But because this guy gives a 1.5 multiplier to this dude, he's actually not as bad as he could be. So these none of these are uncommon, um, and they aren't blowing my socks off. I want to keep this, I want to keep this, but I'm not going to make any decision until I see what the boss is for the next round. So let's see. All cards are debuffed until one Joker sold. Okay, perfect. So, um, this is actually what I got on the boss on my, uh, as the debuff for my last boss that I fought. So maybe this is always the, the power up at this difficulty level for the anti-8. I'm not sure, but basically we just know we're going to sell this Joker when we get in there. Yes, we won't get this benefit anymore, but um, that's the one we want to sell for sure, because all of these other ones are benefiting us so significantly. Now, this says uh, we get an uncommon Joker. No, that's okay. Let's go here. All right. And uh, sort by suit. We are. So we have three diamonds. So let me just get rid of, uh, you know, all of it. We're looking for uh, very particular cards, actually. Um... Sure, I want to discard this, get a free tarot card. That's awesome. There it is. So we can make a stone card. I'm not huge on that. I'm going to discard again, by the way, just to get the tarot card. Okay, cool. So this destroys cards. I don't really want to destroy any of my cards, though. Um... I'm just going to sell this one. And then I'm going to dis discard this, this. I've already got my flush. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to discard these and get the extra tarot card. Um, okay, this increases the rank of two cards. This is cool. What we're going to do is... Um, I'm going to use this to destroy the Nine of Clubs. It's not very efficient. You want to try to discard two, but I'm okay with just getting rid of it. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and use this to just level up. Uh, we could just play straight flush. Like if we really wanted to try to engineer that, we could save this for that situation. Or what we could do is if we level both of these jacks up to queens, then we'd have three queens, you know, um, something like that. But generally, the higher the value, the better the, the card becomes. So these don't actually get more chip value by changing their face card, but these do. So like if I use this and this right here, then this becomes, you know, an eight and a nine. And we just get a little bit more points or chips. Play the hand. Okay, 166,000. I think I think we won. And then... Um, I 
we got max interest right there. So now we're finally getting the, the benefit of full interest. So I should say to you guys, do not be discouraged. I lost my first tutorial run in this game. I didn't know it was coming and I didn't get quite the lucky Joker picks that I'm getting. So I got a very, I knew what was going on. I've played the game before and I got good Jokers. So I don't expect your run to necessarily go like this. I just want to emphasize that. And these are two Celestial Packs, which is perfect. Um, these Jokers are not uncommon and they are like not that great. So I'm going to buy these though. Open. Uh, yeah, level up the flush, please. Flush is level six, and this guy is better. And use this one. And hey, fancy seeing you here, flush. Level seven. Amazing. Okay, now, one thing you can do when you get this much money, if you are above 25 money, you don't need to hold it because you have max interest unless you have some other upgrades. It's not a bad idea to save money for something better, but you can re-roll for five bucks and get new jokers. So, um, this says played cards with even rank give you more multiplier. This is actually pretty good, um, but it's common. So I'm going to actually re-roll again, and this is uncommon. All face cards become gold cards when played. Um, I'm going to buy this. Why am I going to buy this? I'm going to replace this. I want to see. I have one hand to test this. But if it works with this, that it makes him gold, then he drains it and gets stronger. This is a very nice combination. And I don't need this necessarily anymore. And if this doesn't work out that great, this will be the one that I um, discard or a sell so that I don't have debuff cards against the final boss. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell this hiker you are our first joker you did a great job for us we're going to get rid of it and then we're going to get this um and we're going to buy this right here and we're going to actually put it over here plus multiply multiply at the end yes perfect next round all right so if we skip it makes the next shop free but we actually want to fight because i want to test this okay so, one thing I could do is just play a heart flush right here to see how this works. And I'm going to do that, actually. Well, if I play this, he'll eat it for sure. Um, I'm going to see what happens. Yes, he did. He ate them both. So they turned gold and he ate them both. So these synergize together. So you want this first, so he eats it, and then look at this. That is so good. Okay, unfortunately, we don't get to play anymore because we already won, but um, that's cool. All right, we get one more shop. 12 bucks. Okay. Oh, so good. So you put this first before the multiplier, and it's really nice. Unfortunately, though, I don't think it's better than any of the other cards that we have. Um, I guess I'll take this multi-card just to maybe feed it, but um, another thing you could do is you can look at your um, deck and see how many jacks do I have? I actually have six jacks, so um, even though this is not enhanced to feed this, it does boost me for three of a kind because I would have seven jacks available, so I'm actually going to take this um, because I'm not playing for the build-up anymore. I'm playing to win, and then I could re-roll these, but I'm actually okay with what I have. I don't see much of an improvement. Nah, yeah. These are good for earning money, but we don't need money anymore. At the end of the, the run like this, it's all about just winning. So let's just go. Let's fight it. Go. 
All we have to do is get 100 grand. So all cards are debuffed until one Joker is sold. So we're going to sell this one. And then now you'll see that all of our cards are no longer debuffed. You just sell your least impactful Joker, and that was it. So we have um, four diamonds right here. We're just going to discard all of these and get one diamond. And uh, we didn't, but that's okay because we get a tarot card, so we're going to discard all these. And this one says enhanced to a steel card. That's cool. So I'm going to um, just, you know, use that on my ace. And the game is being funny. It's not giving us diamonds, but we have plenty of discards. Get out of here. Just one. That's all we need. Okay, the game is really um, hurting us. One more time. Come on, one diamond. There you go. That wasn't hard. All right, diamond, 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 diamond. This will feed two enhancements to this guy. Um, and let's play it. And we got 186,000. And we win. So, we got our first victory. And um, this is what we got. We unlock a bunch of Jokers. We only played 20 rounds because we skipped a bit. We got some new decks unlocked. Here's our score. Most played was flush, indeed. And after you do that, you can go to the main menu. And you can see all the stuff you've unlocked. So we got a new deck, the blue deck, which gives us plus one hand every round, which is really cool. Um, we get this new Joker, which is the dice rolling Joker that we saw. Then we get this anti-level four Joker, which is um, Joker, Tarot, Planet, and Spectral cards maybe appear multiple times. Very nice. Um, win five consecutive rounds by playing only one hand. So we got this guy plus two hand size. Wow. Minus one hand per round. That's sweet. I love it. And we also get the yellow deck. Starts with 10 extra bucks. We got the... Uh, this is what you get for beating... Or reaching anti-level 8. This is what you get for winning without playing a pair. So there's a lot of um, jokers that you unlock if you don't play a particular combination. So you get a rare joker that's like... Boosts up pair. Or this is... Uh, makes Look how good this makes four of a kind, for example. Uh, and then if you win, you get this one. Which... Uh, copies the ability of the Joker to the right and um, start run with the Crystal Ball voucher and two copies of the Fool. Um, so this is what you get for winning with the red deck. Awesome. All right, everybody. So that is, uh, you know, my complete beginner's guide to just the very basics of Baltaro. We have talked about how to play and we've shown an entire run with nothing unlocked from the start to the finish and i really hope that you have found this to be useful and i hope you're loving this game or that after seeing this you would feel uh, empowered and emboldened to go give it a shot if you have any questions please post those in the comments below and if you are a baltero expert and you want to make any corrections to anything that i've said or add anything on please do so but i just request that you do so in a beginner friendly and non-spoilery way so that um, people with no knowledge of the game can understand and don't get anything spoiled too dramatically thank you so much everyone for watching thank you for all of your help for those of you who taught me the game and happy playing take care